you, I hope you've noticed, right? And I've got this built in to this process, right? That the roots, the intercepts on the x-axis, the roots are super, super important. They really matter. They tell you a lot, like 90% that's interesting about this graph happens on where the roots are. And then you work out the rest from there, okay? But not all roots are the same. They're not all created equal. There are different kinds. And I want to tell you about three kinds, the most important three. They're called single, double, and triple roots, okay? Now to illustrate how they are different, we are going to look at um, these three example curves because we know how to do all of these curves. We know what they look like. They're very simple, okay? So you can see I've just got a small set of axes for each one. We're going to draw it and then we're going to make some statements about it, okay? So y equals x. If you had to describe y equals x, the graph of it, verbally to someone, how would you describe it? What would you call it? It's, it's linear, it's a straight line, okay? Passes through the origin and it's, it's increasing, it's going up. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that and you can draw one as well. Doesn't have to be beautiful, okay? But this, you can see there's a root at the origin, right? Is that okay? No big deal. We call this a single root. We're gonna label all of these, okay? And then I'm gonna add some more language to describe what's going on, okay? A y equals x squared, again, it's a graph you're super familiar with. We, it has a special name, starts with a P, it's called a? Uh, yeah, sorry, a sorry, yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. It's a parabola, right? So again, let's, let's draw this, right? Uh, it, it comes down, it stops, and it, it turns around like that. Now again, y equals x squared, it has a root at the origin. Okay, but can you see it's a different kind of root, right? Uh, because, you know, when we had a look at this, it's like quadratics, we expect them to have two roots. One here, one here, right? Well, this guy kind of has two roots as well. They just happen to be both at the same spot, right? They're both at x equals zero. So be that there are kind of two sitting on the same spot, we call these double roots. No imagination for what's going to happen. <laughs> Next, right, we've seen this cubic before. Okay, again, coming from the left, it uh, starts at the bottom, it goes up, and it comes up like that, okay? Um, this is called a triple root, because again, a cubic, you know, like this cubic, or like this cubic, we expect it to have three roots, and this one does have three roots. They just all happen to be at the exact same spot, at the origin, at x equals zero. So being that there are three of them, we call it a triple root. Now, you can see uh, a few things. Number one, this language here, right, the single root, double root, triple root, what it's really referring to is the degree of the coefficient, sorry, the degree of the polynomial, right? If you've got x to the one, you've got a single root. If you've got x to the two, you've got two roots. If you've got x to the three, you've got three roots, okay? So that's where that language comes from, right? Now, how would we describe verbally what's going on, okay? I've got some words here that I hope, hope will help you um, articulate what's happening, right? This issue here, what, what is the graph doing as it passes through the root? Well, it just sort of cuts straight through the axis. Do you see that? It just slices right across. So in fact, that's the way I say it. It cuts through and keeps on going uninterrupted, okay? Now, when you have a look at this one, it doesn't just cut through, right? In fact, it does something quite different. It comes down, it slows down, it just touches. Do you notice that? It just sort of hovers there, and then it turns around, okay? So the way that I would explain this is that it touches the axis, it touches and then it turns. Okay, that's what a double root is doing. You see, it comes down, it stops, and then it goes back up, okay? The last one, a triple root, right? It's starting from one direction. It, it stops there, it pauses for a minute, but it doesn't turn around like the double root does. In fact, it just keeps on going after it's paused there, okay? So this cuts through, this touches and then it turns. This guy, the way I say it, is he pauses and then he passes through, right? In the, he keeps on going in the same direction that he was going before, right? In this one, he's going up, right? So he goes up, pauses, and then he keeps on going up. Right? Um, I could just as easily have had a triple root that went the other way, that's coming down, and then he pauses, and then he keeps on going down. Right? So these three categories of roots, we can combine them in all different kinds of ways and get different kinds of graphs. So let's quickly do some very, very brief examples. These are all gonna be like kind of um, 
quick and dirty version, so they don't have to be very detailed, okay? But I'm gonna give you quite a handful. So, the first two are really easy, but just I wanna see that you understand this idea here, um, even from the most basic foundations, right? So, I'm looking for, when I have, these are all factorized for you, okay? I'm looking for the roots, and whether they are single roots, double roots, or triple roots, right? Because then I can characterize them, and I can talk about how they're behaving, right? So up here, have a look at that guy. How many roots does he have? He has two, here's one, here's another one, and what kinds of roots are they? They are both single roots. Do you see that? I mean, I could write one and one there, okay? So in other words, at x equals negative one, and x equals one, I'm just gonna graph this on, one, negative one, right? The graph is just going to cut through the axis, right? Because there's two single roots, so that's easy enough. This is a parabola, I know what these look like, no big deal, okay? Minus, sorry, positive one, and negative one, okay? So it just cuts through. Again, having a look at this, how many roots are there? There are one, two, three, and each of them is a single root. Do you see that? Like the power attached to each one is a one, okay? So when I look at the numbers here, I've got negative one and zero and one, and I'm just going to slice through. Um, I can do this, this process here, the extremities, to work out am I up, am I down? You can work that out in more detail, but just to get the general idea. You can see it's going to slice through, slice through, slice through. There's those three single roots, and each time it cuts across the axis, and it doesn't stop, okay? But here's now where it starts to get more interesting. Have a look at this guy, right? You can say, like when I ask the question, how many roots are there? You can say this in one of two ways, okay? You can either say, up to the degree of the whole polynomial? What's the degree of the whole thing? Careful. Two. Oh, three. Now, you see a two there, but the actual whole degree is three, right? Hey, sir. Do you need me, or do you... Just so, okay. So you can see, the whole thing is degree three, right? So I could say there should be three roots, right? That's what you expect of a cubic. Look, here's one, right? But another way I can say it, using this language here, is that there are two roots. This is a single root, and this is a double root, right? So I've got one at zero. There's my double root right there, and then I'll have one at one. Someone in particular looking for? Or? No, 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 just counting numbers. Oh, sure. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can yeah. I quickly ask you something? Yeah, of course. Are you on here, period one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. A kid is going to come here at 10 past nine, who I was going to have sit in test period two. Jordan However, is. it's going to be a shortened period, and he needs 45. Yeah, Could okay. you get him to do that? Uh, Ken, Ken Payne. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's you need a, you want to show oh, his name? Well, I wanted a timer, that's all. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. No, okay, I use my phone. Oh, no, my phone's down at the... <laughs> if you could just tell me what time it says on that clock at the time, yeah, okay. I'll time it from there. Because okay. I'll, I'll have him period two. Oh, okay, I'll sure. That's yeah, no worries. Is that okay? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's no, fine. Yeah, because it'll go through both. I'll right, take it. Sorry to interrupt. No, easy. Okay, guys. I'll quickly finish before you head off to roll call, okay? Now, <clears throat> double root at zero. You should label that. A single root at one. Now, what's this thing going to look like, right? Well, I know by doing my extremities, I'm going to go negative and then positive. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to touch there, but because it's a double root, it touches and then it turns around. It comes back down, right? But then he's got to come back up to this single root, right? And then just blow through, like that. You see that? Double root, single root. Touches and turns, cuts through, okay? Keep on going. How about this guy, right? How many roots are there? Well, I can either say there are four roots, or I can say there's a double root there at zero, and there's a double root here at, careful, minus two. <coughs> minus two, very good. So what would this look like? Again, I will do my extremities, okay? I happen to know that it's gonna be positive up here and positive over there, okay? So he comes down, and then he touches, but it's a double root, so he turns, right? But then he's got to come back to this guy, right? So he's coming back down, he touches, but it's a double root, so he turns. Right, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Looks different from all the other ones you've done before because the power here is actually to the power of four. We're less familiar with these, but that doesn't mean we can't understand it using these tools. Okay. Last one, last one. I've got two kinds of roots here. Can you tell me what kinds of roots I have? And where they are? Minus six. I've got a single root at zero, and then I have a triple root at x equals one. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, I do that just for myself. Like you can't see, they're all really on top of each other. 
okay? Now, I know from my extremities, having done this graph before, that I'm going to be coming from down from the bottom, and then I'm going to end at the bottom, okay? Now, it's a single root here, so he's just going to pass through, like that, he's just going to cut through. But he's got to come back to this root, right? Now, he comes back, he touches, but because he's a triple root, he pauses, and then he passes through in the same direction. You see that? He doesn't turn back like a double root. It's a triple root. So that's why he ends up down here. Okay? We're going to look at some harder examples on Thursday, and then we're done.